This segment of Panther Sports Talk is brought to you by Lincoln Savings Bank. At home in Iowa, at work for you. The UNI Panther football team won 27-13 on the road to even their record at 4-4 four four on the season. 2-2 two two in the Missouri Valley Football Conference. Coach, a uh, win over Western Illinois. Just what this Panther team needed to get back on track and really did it uh, top to bottom throughout the roster. Offense, defense, special teams. Yeah, we came out well on offense, uh, moved the ball effectively, scored uh, in the first three series, and defense played well all day. David Johnson, the big story on the day for the offense, uh, breaking UNI's uh, career touchdown scored record with 51, uh, was held by Diedrich Ward. Uh, just a fantastic record, and uh, to break that really says something about David's career. Well, it says consistency. It says a lot of playing over a lot of time, and uh, you know it was, it was a nice uh, way for him to end the day. 29 carries, 146 yards for David. What did you like about uh, what you saw out of the offensive line and David Johnson on Saturday? Well, I thought in particular earlier that we were effective. And uh, I thought uh, David hit the hell, holes hard. Uh, he was going downhill. He popped the one on the outside, made the long run. But uh, the, that wear and tear of, of on defense is hard if you continually do it. And a pretty balanced attack throughout the offense. Breon Carnes had a good day passing, a new career high in passing yards for him. And he went from uh, the first snap throughout the end of the game. He did. I thought he did a very good job yesterday. He was consistent as well. and uh, He did a good job of making decisions on the football field overall. So I was pleased how it all came together. What did he do throughout the week or maybe uh, the week prior to kind of earn him that starting role and uh, to see that action? Well, I thought he deserved the opportunity to, to get the starting role and to get the chance to, to do it uh, within the, that system. And uh, he performed well and I thought it helped the other guys as well. One of his touchdown passes was to Chad Owens. Chad uh, really stepped up throughout this season in special teams in the return game, uh, working in there, getting an offensive touchdown as well. He he had another solid Saturday. You know, you know, he's been he's done very well for us. In particular, he stood out on special teams right now. But uh, the things he does on offense is very consistent, very good for us. Coach, looking on the defensive side of the football, Max Busher uh, had 14 tackles and a big interception as Western Illinois was driving. A big Saturday for him. He had a great Saturday. I mean, we we did some things on defense and uh, he stepped up coming off that that week off for him and uh, he did a great job talk about the the shift through some personnel with Ronell McNeil getting injured uh, McMakin slid up to that defensive line position uh, uh, Deshaun Dexter got the, his first career started linebacker how did you like how uh, the defense handled that adversity with Ronell out I thought they did a good job I mean Brett was very uh, very effective and, and uh, you know I thought Deshaun did a good job stepping in at the nickel spot and that was a huge position yesterday Talk about the turnovers the defense was able to create throughout the day. Yeah, we're getting pressure on the passer, and then we got the intercepts due to it. So uh, it's a combination of, of a front getting, getting, getting after the quarterback and the secondary that's getting their eyes on the football and getting to the ball. Defensive line did a solid job as well. Brett McMakin getting to the quarterback. Xavier Williams, he had two sacks as well. Yeah, we did a couple things, and Xavier always gets that push in the middle, so uh, he was effective. And you know, overall, it was a good team win, and, and uh, defense was very effective, and and those turnovers helped us, and the special teams helped us get field positions, and the, and the offense uh, did a good job driving the football six, eight, ten play drives. How important is that field position that you get out of? Uh special teams, whether it's a kickoff return or a punt return, uh, I'm sure it just relaxes the offense a little bit not being backed up. Well, it's like the opening kickoff. We bring it back out to the 50-yard line, so you start at the 50 instead of the 20. I mean, that's the percentages just tell you that you got a lot better chance of scoring on that drive, and then uh, you get a punt that's inside your 10, and your returner brings it out to the 40. So you just you, you go from being backed up to out in the middle of the field where you can do some things. Also solid on special teams, Michael Schmadeke, uh, a new career high for him, a 49-yarder. Yeah, he had another good one. We almost went after another one. So broke a few records yesterday, but all in all, when you break records, you got a focused football team, and, and uh, they went down there with a purpose. Coach, coming up on Saturday, you've got a real tough Illinois State team. They bring a former Big Ten quarterback into the uh, Unidome. Uh, a real good test coming in against undefeated Illinois State. Yeah, it'll be a, it's it's a it's a heck of a challenge right now because. Uh, you know, the quarterback has made all the difference on the football team. He transferred in from Indiana, he was starting in Indiana, and, and uh, for whatever reason he's there now, so he's, and he's a great player. What do you like about what you saw on your team Saturday, and uh, what do you hope they take from Saturday's game and move forward into the coming matchup against the Redbirds? Just small steps. Don't get, don't, don't get too uh, 
uh, enjoy it. Uh, you did a great job, and now you gotta you gotta put it aside and grow from it, and, and take small steps forward and get ready for this week. All right, Coach Goodwin, the Panthers get it 27-13 over Western Illinois on the road. They'll be home for their next two weekends. Come out and support your UNI Panthers. More Panther sports talk coming up right after this, including a feature on wide receiver Chad Owens.